The formative assessment works, for sure. Even for simple quizzes, the real-time distribution of the answers shows the students that a significant number of them have a partial comprehension of the topic. This consciousness comes far before the final exam, thanks to the simple questions and without any need to develop calculations, as requested during the exam. Furthermore, the percentage of the correct answers depends on the difficulty of the question and it must be between 20 and 80% to work properly. But for the intermediate quiz, what is more relevant is that the number of the students who give a wrong answer in the first attempt is halved in the second attempt, after the peer discussion. There is a straightforward evidence of the student's satisfaction. Immediately after the delivery of the quiz, students come to me recognizing the effectiveness of the quiz because they see the results just in time and they can react accordingly. They also recognize the value of the peer learning approach due to the fact that they improve their performance through it. An anonymous questionnaire is then informally delivered at the end of the course to collect students' satisfaction about the whole teaching, which includes lessons, exercises, tutoring and the quick test delivery. The results of the questionnaire are the basis for redesign of the next courses. This learning experiment is not only a positive experience for the students, but also a research topic in which we can analyze both the average results and track the development of each student's path, also after the course is ended. And this way, the design will be reapplied in more or less the same configuration to confirm the results just obtained, and maybe to correct some details for a better delivery of the quiz.